Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Survival, Fountain of Youth, a 16th century based game where obviously we're some type of explorer and we are actively looking for the Fountain of Youth. It seems like there's uh, some boat exploration, a lot of crafting, survival, building, everything we're looking for in a game. This is single player though, it's not multiplayer, so I don't really know what to expect. Hit the sub button, hit the notification icon, make sure it's set to always. Uh, we're live all the time and also live on twitch.tv slash partially roll. At the same time, just choose wherever you feel like watching. We're also gonna be putting edited episodes of the live streams up here on this channel now. Um, so that way, if you're someone that doesn't have two hours, just check back tomorrow and we'll have a shorter, more edited version for you of this game. Um, pretty excited. Um, this game kind of came out of nowhere. It's been on my wish list for like a week now, give or take, just from searching around. And I don't know what to expect, really. Um, it kind of reminds me a bit of Salt, which I really enjoy the game Salt, but it's just so bare bones right now that it needs to obviously take a little bit more while to flesh out. Um, difficulty normal, max number of faints, so you could... You could technically play hardcore and die and it's over. You could skip tutorial here too, but we're gonna do the tutorial, unlimited feints, normal difficulty until we kind of get a gist of the game and see how it goes. This story is inspired by real events. According to historic records on March 4th, 1813, three ships sailed from Puerto Rico. They were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer, Juan Ponce de Leon. The goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary fountain of... Hmm, we have some history behind it. That's it cool. Began Ooh. Puerto Rico, when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to the chief Gaibana in a war against other tribes. The Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people. A legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini is the fountain. He's not whispering. I just have audio way down. Who drinks from it will enjoy long years of until we know. And youth. The chief also gave him an old map covered with inscriptions in an ancient language. We can't skip it. It's the beginning of the game, chat. Have some patience. The location to search was clear, but the inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. Okay, so he gave us some basic supplies and began to prepare an expedition. And a map. The best scientists and sailors of the new and old worlds volunteered to join his adventure. I kind of like that the game has a little bit of history behind it. Because this is actually, like, true. Ponce de Leon did set up an expedition with a group of travelers to find the Fountain of Youth, which was believed to give you immortality. This actually happened, like, in the 16th century. Some wacko people. So. The voyage to the islands took an entire month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. They were the islands from the map. The expedition was just one day. Hmm, okay. Oh, I'm getting up! Please, I'm hungover. Okay. We're gonna audio up just a smidge. Get a little more immersed. So we're obviously in the cruise quarters. Go to the bow of the ship. And do. There's my shirt. Sailor's note. Last will and testament. In case I die in the hands of the savages from the old age or another reason, miraculously fountain of use is found. I sign over the holy church, my property, namely a pair of boots, two shirts, a pair of pants, and all undergarments, and a salary owed to me and the expedition is successful. Please consider Captain Ponce de Leon to be the executor of my will. Huh. People are writing wills before they land. Whoa. Do we have a light or anything? We have J for journal. It's very dark. Makes sense, though.
We're inside the ship. I want these weapons. Something bad is obviously going to happen. Nice pants. Can I get a marker and draw on his face while he sleeps? This guy also has cool pants. All right, we're going to the bow. Up the steep stairs. What was that? Is that a zombie? What in God's green earth is going on? What is this? What in... Oh. You can use block by pressing right click, right mouse, right before the enemy attacks. Okay. That was a little delayed. Uh. Fury of punches! Uh. Uh. But Jesus Christ. Please. This is fury. Uh. This goddamn squirrel can take some hits. Am I supposed to have a weapon before this? Use block. I understand we can use block. Oh, is that what? Okay. I see. But the block is like delayed. It's not instant. Oh, we had the block two and oh, now it gives me a weapon. It's a tutorial. Oh, you can also use block attacks with block and a hint. Charge the power holding left click, release it before the enemy attacks. Stab it in the butt. There we go, it's dead as hell. I see now. Get off my boat. How did that, oh, it broke out. I was gonna say, how the hell did this get on the boat? I don't think that thing can swim. At least that far. Take the map. Where's the map? Right there. Go to the captain's cabin. I can hit with the map. I'm assuming the captain's cabin is going to be up here. Where the light is. Where it's super duper comfy. And not below ship. Nope. Not there. Right here. Captain. <gasps> captain, I have the map. Activate the oil lamp. I can't. Requires steel flint. What is this? Ancient. We found numerous traces of natives' cultures on the islands we explored. Wow. Cool. Hmm. Ooh. There's the, the steel flint so I can light the lantern. Nice. Ooh, give me these. Give me something. I want the cool feather hat. Give me anything, please. Expedition logbook. 1513 AD. Wow. That's a long time ago. Place the map on the stand. Right here. Map stand. Wait, am I the captain? I am captain now. Am I Ponce de Leon? Oh god. Oh god. Good thing everybody was writing their last will and testaments. Bonk. The horny shield. Got bonked by the horny shield. Survive the shipwreck. New goal. Oh, shit. Uh. Ow. Take the grotto plan. Grotto plan acquired. Uh. Get items from the chest. Will do. Move. Right click, move all. Is this all my image? I'm so confused. I can take two items I have to choose? Oh god. Pistol with ammo? I mean, if I'm going on a survival situation, I'm gonna want a knife and flint. Right? That's it? What, like, all of this is just extra. I can make all this stuff. Oh god. Sword and shield? I don't think so. I think this is our best bet. We can start a fire. We can cut stuff up. That's all we really need. Jump through the window. Uh. Need to make sure you look the right. Took the right items for chest. We won't be able to return here. Sure. I think it's good enough.
Time to swim. The storm came out of nowhere. None of us were ready for it. Strong winds and giant waves blew up in a split second and crashed into the ship. The sails were torn apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. I mean, an axe we could cut stuff up with, too. The ship was on fire. I was in a panic. A backpack? I came to my so you're about to be shipwrecked and stranded on an island and you grab a backpack. I could not the backpack doesn't have stuff in it. It says you could only take two items. And hoped that at least one of my fellow crew members had also escaped. Savannah is relatively safe. You don't go to the territory of predators. This is a good biome to build a camp. All right, we awake on the shore. I'm already impressed. We have a bit of story. There's some history behind the game. It's 16th century, so we're going to stay pretty primitive, I believe. I grab coconut. All right, is there anything else that washed up? We can cut this down. Okay, so we're, we're getting a little bit of a, like, a long dark vibe. Because this is going to, like, take time, right? Durability. Chances of injury. That type of thing. Craft coconut water. There we go. Coconut water has been acquired. Drink coconut water. Drink. Satisfying hunger. Okay, we can just grab yellow. We can just grab leaves and stuff. Hello, mighty foe! Come here! Nope, he doesn't want to die. Find a shell. Like a seashell? There's some shells. I'll take that. And that. Extract the mollusk from the shell. Ow. Crafting? There we go. These ten minutes to extract a mollusk. A place to sleep. Alright. Five narrow leaves. Can do. Look at this area. Do we have a map? Start mapping process to find... Oh, so we have to map? Can I just... Interaction. No tool needed. Yeah, I want these. No, not those. I don't want the dry stuff. I just want the green stuff. Nice. Build a primitive bed. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Building primitive bed. All right, we're going to put this in the shade, obviously. There we go. And then we need to build it, which takes time. Hmm. Okay. The system's cool. I like it. But maybe we're going to end up, like, running out of time and food and stuff, obviously. New goal, go to sleep. We're just going to sleep right away. I need to eat something a little bit first. Maybe we get a couple more coconuts. I unlocked a new blueprint. Ripe coconut studied. Okay, so as we find things, we're going to unlock new stuff. I'm just going to gather a little bit of things. I'm not going to sleep yet. I'm going to make sure our food and water is up there before we sleep. Come here, Crabbo. Crabbo Dabbo. Come here. He's going to get stuck eventually, right? Nice. Yoinked him. Raw crab studied. Nice. Another coconut. Not bad. Okay. I'm impressed already. This is cool. Come here, Crabbo, I stabbo. No, we're out of stamina. Okay. There's a box over here. I wonder if we can get anything out of the boxes or we have to break them down just for the wood. Nope, see? An apple. Maybe there's a couple more boxes washed up on the shore we can look for.
I like the two items to start. It kind of reminds me of um, what's that game? It's like ten hour, like ten hours of whatever the heck. What's the one? You have to like run around and like grab what you can, and then you survive in a bunker for as long as you can. You like send people out and stuff. People come to your door. What's that one game called? A massive stone. Look how slow I'm moving now that I have a massive stone on me. Just dragging around my massive stone. We'll drop that for now. Can we catch up to Crabbo? Stabbo. Stabbo, Crabbo. They're so fast. They're like equal. We are equals, Crabbo. Not this one, though. Eh, shit. All right. Well, let's eat. Can I... Craft this down? I can. Roasted crab. Obviously, I can't do that without a chest. Or without a campfire, right? A little bit of mollusk. We're going to eat the apple. Ooh, loaf of bread. Oh, we're chilling. And it tells you in the green right there how much it's going to give you, which is super nice. All right, we're at 90. We should be able to take a nap. The weather affects your health. You gain a status that affects your condition. Hmm. Okay, a little bit of green hell vibe in there. A little bit of hardcore survival-y. Hi, Conti. How you doing? This war of mine? 60 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 60 seconds game. Precisely. Good job, chat. Um, so it wants me to sleep six hours, but, like, I'm not going to do that yet. Right? I don't think I should. I think we... We get a peep of the land first. Oop. There is fall damage. Look at that rock. I can see why they said this fountain of youth was here. Cause look how stunning this island looks. If this is the fountain of youth island, we might have washed up on the wrong shore. I want to get like a lay of the land. There's like a... An obelisk right there of some kind. My guy cannot jump worth a damn, I tell you that. <gasps> Why am I climbing? Why am I climbing things? I have a cut, it says. How do I... Oh, there's so many things. Statuses, there we go. Minor cut. Take medicine, eat, drink, and sleep. Equip. Chance recovery, 30% chance of worsening, 28. How do we take medicine? A steamed leaf bandage. I haven't found a wide leaf yet to be able to do that. Uh-oh. I'm just going to go sleep. It says sleep can help. Chat, don't talk to me. Also, I think we have sunburn, too. Near death? Take medicine? Living water? Sunburn? Take medicine? I have a mild... Oh, God. There's like a momentum to running. I'm just gonna nap. Maybe the cut will clear itself up. I should have slept when it told me to. Screw it. Alright, let's see. Chance of treating all malices or maladies. Natural recovery. Chance to regen three per hour. Uh, it wants us to sleep six hours, so we'll do that. All right, let's see if it fixes our issues by sleeping. Natural recovery. Vivacity. We still have a minor cut and a minor sunburn. We had a near-death experience. Okay, that's why we have the max health, right? Stay near the fire. Chance of injury, 20%. So we can... There's a higher chance of getting injured in the dark. Hmm. Okay. Let's find a stone. What are these? Nothing. We found that large stone. Let's go see if we can craft that large stone into a small stone, or are we going to just find stone right here? I'm unsure. Hey, chat, hit the like button. I appreciate it. Hi, poor. How you doing? We had that large stone over here. Somewhere. Maybe we could cut that up. 
grab that crafting. Make that into something. Look at these boats. Vessels. Other items. Stones. Boop. We made a stone. Craft a stone axe. So, tools. Stone axe. One hour to do that. Stone axe completed. Right, do we have like a hot bar? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, and two is the axe. Harvest a long stick, which I'm assuming we chopped down a tree for that. I need a chest or something, or to maybe just drop this stuff off at home. Just drop some stuff off next to my bed. Wonder if we're gonna get the thing we need to make a campfire by chopping down a tree. Or not a campfire. Well, campfire would be nice, but a bandage. That'd be super nice. Here we go. Seems too quiet with the friends playing. Well, guess what? It's a single player game. Do we chop down the tree or do we just press E and grab the stuff from it? Mm. Okay. But how do we harvest a long stick? Just by chopping it, maybe? Let's see. G to cut down. Oh. Is there like a thinner something we could chop down, maybe? Something a little less strenuous? Probably not. Alright, let's cut it down. We want to keep this, obviously, for the shade, the big one. And this is why we didn't grab the axe, chat. We already have an axe. Look how easy that is. Put on your shoulder and drop. Okay. We're collecting some stuff. Seems like we get a stick up here, so I'm going to go up there and try to get a stick. We are more accident prone at night, so we have to be careful. Hmm. This is where we fell off the rock. I found a stick. But it's a small stick. I need a long stick. Cut down for a long stick. Boop. Disease is worsening. Oh, God. Normal wound. Sleep quality down. Take medicine. We can't make medicine yet. Did I get the stick, though? Small stick. It didn't give it to me. Probably because we got more injured off of working there. Craft a wooden spear. That'll be on my three key. If I put it there. Boop. Oh no, we only have one and two right now. Okay. We'll lose the knife for a sec. Bap, bap, bap. Sneak to a crab. I've already killed crabs. I didn't need a spear for that. This is cool so far, though, man. I'm already kind of enjoying this. Seems like there's already a lot to this game. Well, there is sneaking, so I guess I will actually sneak up to the crab like the game told me to. Let's see. Okay. That crab is zooting. Come here, crabbo. Get the stabbo. He's never going to see me coming. I'm on the crab hunt. Throw a spear and hit the crab? Whoa, look at that. Is the crab gone? Like, long gone? I can't see the crab. Oh, we got it anyway, though. We're professionals. Nice. Throw a spear and hit the crab. I did that. Didn't count for some reason. It's like, oh my god, you're too good. Where's there more crabos? There's one. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah. 
you know? Throwing spears is not my forte. Wingardian Leviosa. Let's throw this. Here we go, here we go. This is the one, this is the one, this is the one. Nice. We did it. Grab that, grab the spear. Huge. Build a campfire. All right, maybe we'll get closer to the point where we can actually build a, a bandage. That would be nice. Bandages are useful. I would like that. But this is our this is our little home right now, so let's make a campfire. Buildings, campfire. That's a bigger one. Let's just do a normal one for now. Place that, and then interaction. Chance of injury, 1%, but I'm already injured, so there's a higher chance of it happening. There we go. Campfire made. Craft a spindle fire starter. We have flint, though. Why do we need to do that? Okay, spindle fire starter. We need two sticks. Ooh, look at the, the sun coming through, man. Maybe there's worse places to get stranded on, you know? Um, Not sure where I'm going to find those sticks. I found one up here before. Maybe these little trees... That's for a log, or we can do E to interact, and we get just two sticks. That's all I need. I'll just take what I need for right now. I've never played this game before, no. Okay, and then crafting spindle fire starter. There we go. Interaction. Fuel type. Can I, can I put this guy on there? R to add fuel. It looks like it already, already has fuel on it. Cook food on the campfire. Okay. So ignite. We're just going to use my fire starter just to have a higher chance of it happening. And then cook up the crab. Have a good feast. Nice. Harvest two wide leaves. I can do that. That's coconuts. Are these wide? Okay. This, so this is actually getting us to do bandages now. Where do we find wide leaves? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice. I'm getting sunburned, too, all the while, so we have to be real careful. I hope we can craft, like, an umbrella that I can walk around with or something. <laughs> the clouds are blocking the sun right now, though, which is nice. We're just going to get both of them. Five new blueprints were unlocked. Five whole blueprints. All right, I do need bandages. Leaf hat! Leaf hat! Leaf hat! Yes, yes, yes. We need that to block ourselves from the sun. There we go. Nice! Sun protection, 25%. Alright, we need all of these leaves. Give me all of these. Thank you. I want 100% protection, but I obviously need a bandage first. Make it at a campfire. Okay. We're a little overweight from the leaves, but that's fine. You can see the sun exposure top left. We're about to get another sunburn, so I really need to get myself into the shade. We're going to fight animals. We're going to fight the sun. We're going to fight all around survival. This is going to be wild. Ugh. Just keep running, running, and running, running. Deep boop. Okay. Now, steamed leaf bandage the weather is now clear crafting our inventory we use that normal wound disappeared statuses by the fire so we have cold protection a bunch of defenses wound cannot get worse health is recovering sunburn it looks like we need tobacco leaves to fix our sunburn okay so real quick do all of these give us a leaf cape, a portable box. Increases by 10 carry weight, so that's why we don't grab the backpack, clearly. There's a smoke signal, so we can maybe get rescued. Used to mark a location. Oh. Okay. Look at all the crafting, man. Thought we just break down stuff into resources down here. Do sea salt. A builder toolkit. 
a lot going on. Yeah, I hope there's not random scorpions and stuff, but there's probably things that are worse. All right, we need to find a rope. But, like I said, I want to make some armor. Let's do some sandals. Here we go. 25%. So we're looking to get 100% sun protection, obviously. Um, it wants me to find rope, though. So we're going to run out here. Brave the sun for a second. <laughs> there was three ships on the expedition, I wonder. If there's other crashes around the island, maybe. Pile of scrap. Small sticks. I don't want to do that, but I see a couple of extra things right here we can yoink. Also getting a bit thirsty. I wonder how water drinking is going to go. Let's get another crabbo. Throwing level one. What? Concentration. Cost one PP. There's full skill trees. Crafting level. Reduce crafting durations. Rush injury chances. Increase cooks nutrition. Oh my goodness. So throwing. Increased aiming speed is what we just got. And this is uh, where we do stuff to earn PP. So make a palm juice collector. Make a coconut rain collector. Make flint. So this is where we, yeah, this is where we get all our PP. And then when we get PP, we can go up in concentration. Press V, hotkey. Special objects, weapons, ammo, and drop bags are highlighted. Resist disease, resist poisons, resist control, resist hunger, better sleep, learning. Wow. Okay. So there would be like builds and stuff of your character. Hmm. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm sniffing what they're farting. I'm really enjoying this already. Let's go. Craft a mapping charcoal is our next objective, by the way. But obviously, we're not going to do that quite yet. I'm assuming coconuts give us a bit of water, so... I'm going to press F for the blueprint just to get it up quickly, which is super nice. That got us full water. We can cook a couple of crabs just to bring with us real quick on our adventures. My guy is getting a bit tired. The fire is not lit anymore. Do I want to use the health of my flint right now? I think I'm good. All right, let's go look for more of those leaves. So we can get a full sunblock armor. Just kind of work ourselves from shady tree to shady tree. And sprinting obviously makes our, uh, our overall energy go down quicker. This is a mushroom we can get? Nice. Mushroom tinder. Tobacco! We needed this. Select all. Harvest. So that's to make the stuff to fix my sun block, my sun damage, my sunburn. So we can craft that back at the campfire and fix our sunburn when we get back. Especially if it gets worse. Good to know. None of this stuff. Okay. Ooh, what's that plant right there? Find a cartographer tree. This looks like a cartographer tree. Wait. Is this going to, like, unlock pieces of the map? Oh. We can grab everything from this nest. It would take us an hour. Might be worth it. Great place for mapping. Press E. Space for mapping. No suitable mapping tool right now. Mapping range 226. Current altitude 75. We don't have a mapping tool. <gasps> oh god. Okay, it was pulling me to the ladder. That scared the bejesus out of me. I do kind of want to grab everything from here, right? Or at least one of everything, just to see what we unlock for grabbing it. This is cool as heck. 
All right, let's go down. So we need some type of, uh, not stethoscope. What's the the weird one? You, like, look through it and you can, like, someone will know. We need, like, that thing. I don't think we could have grabbed that out of the, uh, out of the shipwreck, if I remember correctly. Cool. I'm hearing animals. Oh, these are wide leaves. Nice. We need a lot of these. Animal is hunting. You cannot do that. Uh-oh. We're gonna back off. Let's go find some shade this way. Not a telescope. I know what a telescope is. There's one that's specifically used for navigation. Chamomile? We're just like learning a lot of stuff as we go, obviously. So these are the these are the little bushes that I need. I'm gonna go over there so we can craft more of the anti-sun armor. Spyglass? No. The thing that's hunting me is right there. What is it? Ew. like a hyena or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to Google it, chat. Gyroscope, microscope, no. God. I'm finding it. I can't find it either. We used it in a survival game recently. I could have sworn. Isn't it in... It's in Dread Hunger, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Sextant! Boom. Andrew, you win the non-existent prize. Uh, what was I doing? We need the armor. Leaf skirt. Leaf cape. What do we need for leaf cape? Narrow leaves? Okay. A Nautilus sextant. Yes. There you go. Right, what's this charcoal thing we have to grab? Fried eggs. Cool. Yum. We haven't found any liana rope yet. I hear chickens over here. I want to kill those. Give me a little chickadee. Favorite hot chip? Hot fries. Does that count? Fuck. So obviously I think the accuracy will increase on this as we get more proficient with it. There's a pile of rocks right there. Grab a couple of the rocks from the pile of rocks, maybe. Alright, it is nighttime. Let's head home. My guy is getting pretty tired. Let's have a shmeal. Let's make the charcoal. It says we need to make mapping charcoal, so I wonder if that'll allow us to draw the map from the tree. I'm really enjoying it, Mayhem. It's really good. I mean, just from the baseline of what I've played. This is very survival -y. It seems like it combines just about everything from a bunch of different games that I've played in the past, so I'm real hype about it. Remember, chat, we're also live on Twitch. If you wonder who I'm talking to, I'm talking to both chats, so. Okay. We need to add fuel. We need to ignite. Fire starting level one, huge. Make a couple of roasted crabs. Tobacco compress for our burn. 
Not enough fuel to finish crafting. Let's add more fuel. Steam compress, and we might as well make another bandage just to have on us. So we're going to use that compress. We're chilling. Nice. Okay. I'm going to drop these here. Quality sleep, health restored while sleeping, obstacles. Nice. My body is fighting illnesses. My energy is stored faster. The status appears in the food. So I'm just going to lose a bit of food. Let's eat one of those before we sleep. Is there a time of day somewhere? No. Probably just go eight hours, right? Oh, see, there it is. Okay, so on the bottom middle. So nighttime is the red. Daytime is the blue. So we want to wake up just before daytime. Six hours. I just heard a gurgle. Did you hear that? There's a chicken on my beach. Breakfast. Give me a little chickadee. <coughs> oh, I didn't I didn't click. <coughs> yes. Right in the keister. Give me all of your juices. Nice. My hands are all bloody. wonder if I have a chance of, like, poisoning myself or something. Okay. We have a bit of, we have a bit of crab to satiate ourselves right now. Um, we don't have any coconuts. Let me grab a couple of coconuts, because that's our source of water right now. And then you can F for blueprints and just get the quick craft. Nice inventory, and then boop, we have water. Nice. Okay, craft mapping charcoal. Crafting. Roasted meat. Mapping charcoal. We need small sticks. Okay, let's get a couple of small sticks then. Take a swim. Maybe. We shall see. You call it a baby telescope? I'm going to grab the bark, too, because that's probably used to light the fires, right? I'm assuming. Select fuel. So I can only... I need more sticks, then. So I'm not going to light this yet. So obviously isn't the best building location. They're stored in 29 days. Wow, so you actually run out of stuff. Oh, and it's raining. <laughs> Am I not getting rained on under the trees? I'm curious. Oh, my campfire is not going to light though, huh? Okay. Maybe we need a cover. Looks like we can't make any of that yet, though. But made a leaf. See, this is what I need. Liana rope. Do we make Liana rope? There it is. We need Liana. Gathered from banyans and some bushes. Okay. No chance of success because it's raining. Yeah, I guess it's time to explore since there's no sun, huh? So we got some buffs here now. Fire starting, 10% higher success rate. And less reduced stamina drain while sprinting. All right, so we really need to find those Lanya, Liana's ropes off of the jungle trees, right? Maybe this big guy will have one that we climbed up before. We gotta be careful because that thing was hunting us around here. Yeah, see, that's not giving us what we're looking for.
Got him. Oh, this is the thing that climbed onto the boat. A short-eared dog. I hear another one. Oh, thank God. Got two short-eared dogs. We're eating good, brother. Hmm. More mushroom tender. Ooh, Jesus Christ. I did not see that guy right there. Yoink. He wasn't making any noise. Let's get a little bit of snake tail. We're pretty overweight right now. Bird of paradise. Beautiful plant, by the way. Always wanted one. Kind of hard to hear things sneaking up on you in the rain, huh? Very foggy, too. And dark. Hmm. Okay. Mahogany tree. Mm. Not seeing the rope anywhere, but I mean, there's nothing we could do until we uh, find some. I guess we can go check out this obelisk. Yeah, it's a bit of a marker. Tobacco leaves. We already have some of those. Mahogany. Ayoko. Or Ayoko fruit? I uh, cacao fruit. Is that just cocoa? We can cut this down. It will not grow back. It doesn't give you anything. Hmm. Weird. Alright, let's go up here and check out this little obelisk, I guess. Nothing? Just an obelisk. Okay. Ooh, this one's running from me. Hmm. Look at this thing. It's got, like, paintings on it. It's not just a rock. Old civilization of some kind. That was very close. Okay, so I obviously can't carry three dogs on me. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> These look like they might be jungle trees. Maybe. Let's see what's going on with these things. Oh, cocotillo. Oh, cocotillo. Cocotillo. Probably Spanish, right? Yeah, they, they pretty much are demon squirrels. I would uh, have to agree with you. See, that looks like a jungly looking tree. But if I know anything about jungles, cats tend to like jungles. And uh, cats are scary. But this definitely looks like where I would get it from. I'm gonna spend like a lot of time. Insufficient tool durability? We have 41 left on our axe. We're going for 8. Because this is going to be used in everything. I know I'm dropping another dog. They're everywhere. Let's get home. We can build a cover now. What? What? It wasn't even looking at me and I stopped right away. It doesn't make any noise. We took a little bit of damage, but... We're chilling. The armor tanked it. We're good. Ow! Ow, ow! Well, that is spiky. That makes sense. Probably shouldn't walk through that. So I need a new axe, obviously. Kind of my way back will be fun. I have a good sense of direction, brother. 
I'm going straight home. You don't even know. Bad snake. Bad. Full coffee break. Watch, now that I talk shit and said I have a good sense of direction, I'm not going to be able to find my ass. Just kidding. There's a giant fucking rock stacked on top of a rock next to it. Pretty easy. <gasps> Pretty easy. Yeah, I used my sextant. I wonder what kind of status we get. So, flu worsening chance for being out in the rain. There's probably jackets and stuff we can have. And I'm trying to think, too, now. Would we, now that we've played the game a little bit, would we take two different things out of the box? I don't know. I don't know if I would take two different things out of the box. So now, with this guy, right, we can go in here crafting... And then we can make Liliana rope. We need narrow leaves. We should be able to get right here. Right here. One of these guys? Yeah. Right. And then we craft the rope. Okay. And then we go here. We should have unlocked a lot of new things with the rope. Building specifically. So a workbench, so we could probably get more crafting recipes. I really need this canopy. We need four long sticks? No shot. Those are hard to come by. It looks like I have to like put it out somewhere. I can't really put it there because the tree is blocking it. Do we really want to put the canopy here, though? Or do we want to move our, our shit? Oh, well, obviously we need the long sticks and stuff anyway. Okay, let me drop some stuff here. No, we want the rope. pile of crap where we go look for some long sticks. What's the perfect coffee? Ye I couldn't tell you. I drink instant. Maybe I'm a masochist, but I enjoy instant coffee. It's probably going to get a lot of Dan's games, but instant coffee is my go-to. What up, Samuel? How you doing? Looking for the long sticks. Oh, wait, my axe is almost broken, right? Let me go back and make one real quick. So much faster now, though. Maybe we should just sleep. I don't know. We might wake up sick, but maybe we should just sleep because our energy is low and it's raining. Oh, God. Maybe not. Where's our stones in here? Oh, there they are. Nice. Wow, it's been raining for a while. Nice. Okay. We're absolutely soaked now. The chance we're going to get a cold. It's a coffee is powdered coffee. You just pour hot water over it. Okay, so we can't even chop these ones.
Eucalyptus. They make this into like a tea of some kind, right? Red gum. Bandage with red gum. Hmm. Gum gum want gum gum. I need long sticks, man. That's a snake. None of these things are giving me long sticks? Am I just crazy? Why am I not getting the option to do anything? None of these trees can be long sticked. See, I'm getting Bird of Paradise pop up. There we go, mahogany tree, just a small stick. Long sticks are very hard to come by. Hmm. I think the trees up in the field gave long sticks, right? You don't just hit trees, you like hit them, you like grab the items off of it by crafting on it, I guess, if that makes sense. If you ever played the Long Dark, it's a very Long Dark style crafting system. So like we can cut this down, you just press G, you don't physically smack it. And then it passes time. Here we go. Three long sticks off of this guy. Ow! I cut my hand cutting it up. But, we have a bandage. I'm gonna drop these stones, they're weighing us down. I'm probably just gonna put my canopy, like, right here. Alright, so the rain's clearing up and it's getting foggy. This is a good big open field for a canopy. We just need a couple more long sticks, unfortunately. Uh, this guy? Give me one more long stick. Nice. Okay. And then we just need some palm stuff. See? Maybe it's not a good spot, because there's not enough long sticks, and there's not enough palm stuff. Sage flowers. I'm thinking, because, like, that looks like there's, like, four trees for long sticks right there. We have the, the jungle right there, and we have palm stuff right there. So maybe we do something up here. It is very dark. I think there's a... Yeah, there's an animal right there. I think it's just another dog, though. So I was thinking just like right here on this flat little rock, just a little canopy, just something to work from. Let's get four of these palm fronds up here. My guy's getting pretty tired right now. We're gonna drop some crap. I'll drink some water. Drop the snake tail. Okay, we can move now. Good. Crafting. Building. Canopy. Right there. And then this... Will take a while to put up. Nice. Okay. I'm thinking probably just a bed we sleep real quick, and then we wake up and make a fire. So this will be our base of operations for now. We have three more fronds. Our energy's real bad. Maybe we should go to our old base and sleep. Screw it. We'll work through it. We'll see what happens if we don't sleep. Need 
five. Maybe we do just go. Let's go back to the coast and sleep real quick. We'll come right back and set up here. I'm also curious if we could break stuff down and bring it with or pick it up, pack it or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. But for right now, let's not overextend ourselves and have some issue that we can't treat, right? Happy time. Sleep. Eight hours will get us half our energy back. And it's daytime. Heck yeah. All right. Um, food and water is kind of fine. Let's see. Can we pack this? Ignite back. Add field. No. We can upgrade it with stones. To unlock baked cakes and fried eggs. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Um... Do we need anything out of here? Probably not. I'll probably just grab the raw meat. Nice. We can also upgrade the bed. We can elevate it off the ground with sticks. Okay. All right, let's get a few more long sticks. Let's get a, a little, little set up under the canopy. Not sure if this is going to be like a permanent little spot for us, but it's definitely going to be a base of operations. So we're not going to upgrade anything right away. We're going to start getting a little bit of sun exposure, but we should be overall all right. All right. This is our new base of operations. Out in the thick of it a little bit more. We need three... Long sticks, but there is a feral dog holding these sticks hostage. Let's wait for him to get a little closer before we throw, or we'll just do it right... <gasps> oh, no. I missed. I can throw the axe, though. Oh, God. What's the pathing? What's this pathing? Okay. No pathing. We're fine. Come here, you little shit. Come on. Show me what you got. Come here. Oh, no. Oh, God. We good? We're fine. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's all good. Three long sticks acquired. We can make our little bed. We gotta remember that we can block. You just gotta tap it, right? Yeah, okay. Dewey? Dewey's not like that. He's he's closer to Bo, I would say. Bo's a crazy one. I just need two more fronds. Nice. What is this right here? <gasps> Wait. Where does this go? I feel like there's going to be something evil in here. <gasps> I don't like... I didn't grab my spear either. Oh, no. Scorpions. I see those. All right, we'll ignore them for now. All right, so we'll definitely add this to the list of adventures. There's a scorpion right there, too. I could have stepped on a few of these on the way in. Oh, God. That would have been bad. Free stick. Yoink. Another free stick. Yoink. Okay. <sighs> Home to the scorpions, it seems like. Oh, we're right next to the cave, which is cool. We could probably live in there if we wanted to. But for right now, this is good enough. I'd like to be outside. 
So it looks like you really don't need to bring the flint with me. I would still... Mm, see, I don't even know if you would have to bring the knife with you, right? You could just pull stuff off a tree and make an axe. Maybe I would start with, like, the backpack and the clothing. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I would grab something different next time. Bamboo bandolier. Smoke signal. All right, so we definitely want to just make a campfire here. Put it in, like, the corner. We can upgrade it if we feel like we want better foods. There we go. Add fuel. We got five hours on this bad boy. We're going to ignite it. Okay. To roast up some short-eared dog. What's that going to give us? Hello food. Nice. Roasted meat. If we get some rocks, we can make the better campfire. We can fry up some eggs from the trees. See, our energy is still crap. So we should eat, drink, just get ourselves situated. No coconuts. Whoops. No coconuts here, though. So how do we get water? Without coconuts. Hmm. Curious. <gasps> Mucho curious. Okay, let's do the quest, though. We just need regular small sticks. Can we get regular small sticks off of these little guys here? I forget. I mean, there's obviously a really high chance of cutting yourself on these things, right? Grab this. And mapping charcoal craft. Boom. Quest complete. Draw a resource map. What a great view from here. You'd be able to draw a map of the large area. Okay, so it's climb up the tree, but we already did that. So we got to go back up the cartographer tree real quick. Um, we're good for now. I'll grab some coconuts on the coast on the way back or something. Be ca very careful of fall damage. Go up the cartographer tree at sunset. Pog. Beautiful. Oh my god. I need to grab my spear still. True, 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 true. All right. Going up. Hope I don't fall and die. Map. Find me. Layer up. Island of hope. Start the mapping process to find resources. Mapping. Start. It's too dark. <sighs> Goddamn mosquitoes. Get them out of here. I'm just running back to this base. We'll grab some coconuts and then take a big long nap. Probably going to be best to have, like, multiple base locations in this game, methinks. I think I already grabbed all the coconuts off this tree. Any other coconut trees? This one over here. Water collector? Yeah, true, true, true. We should probably make one of those when we can, especially... Before it rains again. Nice. Coconuts will work for now, though. Okay. Sleep. Eight hours will put us right in the morning. Beautiful. Back at it again another day. And it's daytime, so we can go ahead and scoot ourselves up the tree to map the area. And we'll see what mapping the area does for us. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of trees we're going to jump around to that are going to give us a bunch of different maps and locations of different resources to extend the game out further. So that's cool. My energy went up quite a bit. I think your energy increase... You get more energy from sleeping if you're well-fed, drank enough water, and you're not injured. 
So we got a lot more energy from that. So we can spend this whole sunny day actually exploring and doing some stuff. So here we press mapping. We start mapping. Three hours of mapping later and boop. We know where there's short-eared dogs, eucalyptus, peccary, boar, hibiscus, tobacco, crabs, coconuts. Tells us when they're looted and when they're not. Here's our bed on the coast. So this is the, a map of our little region here on this part. We zoom in more to find more stuff. Long sticks. So this is our bed on the coast, and then our bed not on the coast is where? Does it know that? No, this is our bed on the coast. This is our, our new bed is right here. Yeah. This is where our other bed is right here. Boop up. Okay. This is where I ran around exploring. We got to be careful of those boar date palm okay so ultimately tutorial complete you can now follow the story and explore the world on your own cool so the bird's nest isn't up here anymore this is my little area so i'm assuming to oh the bird's nest is right there we have to go to this tree there to uh, to see like farther beyond Cool. Uh, find the pictured grotto. Linked document. Grotto location map. S to view the document. I found this. Right? It's right, right next to my house. Let's run home real quick. Go in the grotto because that's part of our quest line. Ooh, I need three stones, right? I'll grab two there and grab the massive one. We're going to craft the map. Stone saw. Properties, regular workbench, machine craft. Uh -huh. I just want one stone right now. Okay, wait. We're super overweight. There we go. We're good for now. I'm going to upgrade the campfire. Let's get fry up some eggs and stuff. Get some better food. I mean, Chad, this game is pretty great so far. I like the mix of long dark meets green hell. I like the actual mapping of the area so we're not just aimlessly looking for materials. We could just climb trees, map it, and then know where we need to be, where to go. I mean, obviously, the whole thing is here is that we're surviving and trying to find the Fountain of Youth. So we have a goal. Hopefully the story is really cool. We have no fuel available because we stink. But uh, we can upgrade this. So, boop, upgrade that for 38 minutes. We can also move it when we upgrade it. I'm going to, just so it's not on the edge. One, two, three stones placed. Build. Boop, upgraded. New campfire. Didn't mean to have to move the thing. So with three long sticks, we can actually make this better, too. Let's grab our spear real quick. Maybe we kill a scorpion and see what that gives us. There's my spear. Should be back in the two key. Yep. We're a little overweight. Maybe we look into making a chest of some kind. Are there markings on the rocks by the bed right here? No, it just looks like some crap. I also saw this, a portable box. Adds 10 units to carrying weight. So it's like a backpack we can craft. A leaf bandolier to put our other crap in. Other items, coconut flask. Okay, we should look into the water collector, like everybody else was saying. Because eventually we don't want to just drink coconuts, and eventually we'll run out of coconuts. Regular workbench? Wow, there's actually a lot that we have to do. Hut made of leaves. Gotta find big branches. Fences, canopy, okay. I saw the water collector before.
thought it was right here. Who's blind? Machines? Is it a machine? Oh, here it is. Coconut flask. Coconut flask is rope and a ripe coconut. Okay, so we'd have to go back down to the coast first. Okay, let's just drop stuff here for now then. And we just gotta jump in here for the quest. Find the pictured grotto. Boop. It's it's here. I found it. Maybe it wants us on the other side. Alright, let's go to the other side of this. Maybe that's where it's gonna want us to build or something. Just gonna be real careful of these scorpions. I'll get my toes tickled. Because a grotto is a field, right? Welcome, loyal subject, to the house of Royal. Enjoy your Thanks stay. for the five gifted, brother. I appreciate it. Let me turn off notifications so it doesn't spam too much. Welcome, everybody. You can't see the server. Don't they usually restart around this time? No? Ryan? Here's a scorpion right here. Got him. This is a good spot to maybe level up our throwing. Scorpion carcass, new blueprints unlocked. There we go, that man's dead. So what did we get for level 2 throwing? Reduce stamina drain by throwing. Cool. Well, hopefully it comes up in time, Ryan. I don't know. I keep moving as much as we can. I think, like I said, it wants us on the other side of the grotto. Look at this. There's a map on the wall. There's already a campfire in place. A bunch of sticks on the ground. A piece of jatoba gum. Whatever the heck that is. This little area here. Oh, this is most definitely where we want to build. Right? Oh, my mouse freaked out. Get some torches up in here so it's not so dark. It's already got the campfire set up for us. Whoa. Living water. Oh, this is what we needed to drink. Right here to get rid of our near death. Living water. We'd increase our max health by drinking it. We'll wait, though. Take the letter. I'm leaving this bottle of living water so that the person who find it restore their health to the shipwrecks. Good luck to you, friend. Oh. Well, Captain Juan Ponce de Leon also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Mm. Then so we're not Ponce de Leon. Quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was <laughs> a signal from one of our ships. The captain let this note then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. Hmm. So that'll be like a permanent mapping tool, maybe? So we don't have to keep using charcoal? To anyone who reads this, I am Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition of studying these islands. I spent a few days investigating this island and leaving a rough map in my notes. I found the ruins and other traces of ancient civilization. This morning I was exploring the Bay of the East and heard a distant cannon fire. I noticed that I forgot my spyglass of the place where I heard the cannon fire. You can look for it. It's a place with many fireflies. If you find it, I recommend you take a good look around. Here's the map that he left. Mark the approximate location of two water sources. Oh, nice. Caption says the spyglass remained in the place where fireflies are visible at night. Oh, okay. We can just check this one over. So obviously this is where we build. 
it is much darker than I'd want it to be, but it's it's a nice building spot. We can cut down the scrap for some small sticks. There's some extra small sticks here. Let's get this thing lit. That's nice. Okay. Cool. So we don't really need, like, cover in here, right? Because, obviously. Um, and we could put water collectors out front. Scorpion, an ancient primitive medicine for all forms of poisoning. So that's what we get off the scorpions. Nice. Okay. So obviously, we want this thing. We need to get a portable box to hold some more stuff. Um, that's our backpack. We're going to need another bed in here. Which is annoying as heck. Um, and then we can start getting the workbenches and, like, the carpentry and the skin drying and, like, some of the crazier workbenches. There's a chem bench, so that's going to unlock a whole bunch of new stuff. If we can find processed hide, which I'm assuming we're going to do in the tannery, we can then make a canoe and a raft. So, yeah, we got a lot going on here. Nice. Okay. There's some extra pile of scrap where we can get a bone. Never gotten a bone before. Let's see what that unlocks. New blueprints were unlocked. We got a little bit of water. We're gonna go ahead and uh, actually we gotta just drink the living water, right? That fixes our overall status, and now we have the god buff. All right, blueprints, coconut water. Let's get a quick little slurp. Thank you. Can we cook the scorpion, perhaps? Okay. Let's go out here and just see if we can find a crab to eat. Real quick. Bunch of coconuts out here that I'll just leave. I'm assuming we can harvest bone from this thing. Oh, there's something at it. Ancient hunting drawing. Hunting process depicted here. Natives crouch and sneak up on animals, and it seems that the animals do not hear him. Hunters approach the animals from behind and hide, but this is so cool. This art. So this is probably like a whale carcass, I'm assuming. Okay. Reach the location where the spyglass is. Okay. But obviously we're just surviving until we figure that out. Yeah, look at that. There's like an old cave drawing, like a a rock drawing on that rock out there. Of a whale, I'm assuming. I think they heard me. Nice. Dinner. What's out here, though? <gasps> a toidle! The evil turtle? No? I hit it right off its shell. You see that? They're slow as heck, though. Might be able to just poke it to death. Die, turtle. Oh, that's dinner. For sure. Be cool if I get a shell and make a shield or something. Let's go see what's out on this tip here. Yeah, see this little drawing? Fishing stand. I can just fish right here. <gasps> Look how pretty. Hell yeah. Okay. So that's right outside my base, so if we need food, we can just fish. Let's go back and make a little bit of this meat. I also want to make sure... I have everything I need for this. I do. We can craft that real quick. So that'll allow us to do the water collector. I think that's going to be pretty big. We're going to run out of coconuts eventually. I also need wide leaves, long sticks, and narrow leaves. Because I really want to make this backpack. I'm tired of being overweight. Wish we could pin... Like other games, we need two narrow leaves. Looking for the wide leaf. Ooh. Dates? Hmm. Probably good food. Wait, the fireflies that you can see at night. Isn't this what the, the, the prophecy? The prophecy spoke of this. I'll do that later, though. I don't, I don't have a spear right now. This up here. 
pile of scrap as well for small sticks. Okay. So out the other side, we have even more palm fronds and other things. God, there is so many rabid dogs out here during the night, huh? They probably leave their little shaded areas when the sun goes down. I'm just going to try to wrap around him and go to those trees over there. I mean, I can kill him with the axe. I just don't want to risk it. The spear is so much better. And we have uh, all those buffs for spears from killing all the things so far. Leave me alone, brother. Plenty of coconuts right now. A large rock right there. Nice. All right, we're looking for the wide leaves. Coconuts. None of these are wide leaf, huh? Needs to be like the banana leaf tree. You can also take the rafts out to these islands. Look at those. There we go. Here's some wide leaves. No long sticks. We have to go out the other side for the long sticks. That's not wide leaves either, huh? Really? We're just going to end up circling the entire cave. There's more fireflies right there, though. Hmm. I guess we'll snuggle on our old base for now. I don't have a bed in the in the cave yet, in the grotto. And I need those wide leaves to make a water collector, which are right next to my old base, unfortunately. Can you swim? I don't know if I'm going to find that out. Not right now, at least. My mouse is messing up. I, had, I need to do the Windows update. There's a Windows update that's been sitting on my computer for quite a bit. It's causing some driver issues now. Um, weren't these where I got the wide leaves? The banana leaves? I'm so confused. Where the heck are the wide leaves? None of these? What about this guy? That guy looks different than the rest of them. Slightly. Oh. Hmm. There's a crate over here. Maybe there'd be stuff inside of it. We found an apple in the other crate. A loaf of bread. Yum yum. Okay, I'm getting real confused. Where did we find the wide leaves? Can we check somehow? No. The sort of flat wide plants? Oh! The, the, like the bushes, the bushy ones. These guys, right? No? They're a little bushier. A little more wider leaves, if you will. They were in the middle of the field over here. I wonder if they regrow or not. There was a snake over here we gotta be careful of. Oh! I just panicked and threw my axe in its head. It didn't do enough damage. And now we're poisoned. And we don't have an axe. All right, well. That place is horrible. There's like three. There's like three. God, okay. Uh, crafting. We have the scorpion on us, right? We do. Okay, I can make an anti an anti venom at home. Yeah, we could use the map too. True. <laughs> Add fuel. Ignite. Using Jatoba gum. Crafting. Anti venom. Let's see. Yeah, see, the wide leaves don't show up on the map. There was three of them to the right there. But obviously, they're not there now, because I already picked them. Okay, so wide leaves are obviously a problem. A severe lack of wide leaves everywhere. 
There was that upgrade we could get that, like, scans for you. Which would probably be pretty nice. Right about now. Oh, there's evil stuff everywhere. No wide leaf plants down here. There's nothing else we can break down for wide leaves, men. Not seeing any of the wide leaf plants anywhere. Right here. Boop. There you go. <sighs> Solid chance it's a no-go? Okay. I'm gathering all of these. I don't even care how much energy it takes. This game's excellent. Single player, but excellent. It'd be even better if it was multiplayer, obviously. I say that about every game, but... Overall, the mechanics of this game are very, very good. It's like Long Dark meets Green Hell. But there's, like, actually a story to it. And it's, like, historically... I mean, I wouldn't say historically accurate, because we might find the Fountain of Youth and then become invulnerable. But, I mean, it's like Ponce de Leon and his... His ships crash-landed on the island looking for it. And, like, I, I like that little... Little spit of history mixed in. It's real nice, actually. So it looks like Frozen Flame might not happen, chat. Not if the server's down. Okay, we need to make... We have no fuel. Mm, there's sticks in the cave. We'll just go do it in the cave real quick. But it's also pitch black, and I'm probably going to step on a scorpion. There's a stick right there. And we don't have to go all the way. I don't want to go all the way because there's no bed in the cave yet. Okay. Glowing over there, you see that? Weird. Add fuel, ignite, boop bop, make anti poison, beep boop, take anti poison, boom. Good. Healing. Poison treatment, health recovery, by the fire. Uh, quality sleep. We need more food to make quality sleep, so let's go ahead and cook up some meat. Can we not? Boiled Doro fin. We have the cooking pot. Roasted meat. There we go. Beautiful. And it's daytime. Shit. We're going to have sleeping through the day, unfortunately. Half the day, at least. And it's raining. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, welcome to survival games. All right, let's cook up. Actually, we have no more fuel. Um, hmm, we don't have the water collector yet, but I can possibly make this. We have the wide leaves. I just need three sticks. Which we can get off of these prickly guys right here. We can get the water collector set up. So obviously, I'm going to set up the water collector on the other side of the cave, because this will just be a, a temp base on this side of the cave, and then we'll have their main base in the cave. That'll be where we have all the workbenches and stuff. It's obviously just a bit more convenient having a natural, like, cover over our heads. We're going to have to make an axe and a spear again, too.
wonder why the server's down. Maybe there's an update coming up. I don't know. It did that last week, though, right? It was real laggy, and then it went down and came back up, and everything was working again. So, I'm really enjoying it, Nanners, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to place a water collector outside this cave. Probably just, like, right here, right? Just slap that, that bad boy right there. We don't have a hammer. Stone hammer, big branch, can be gathered from some leafy trees. Hmm. Son of a bitch. We have nothing. Fortunately, I need some long sticks, which the most convenient long stick location is, you guessed it, on the other side of the cave. So we might have to do that, but there is a mini bobini in the way. I just don't want to run through the cave again. Maybe we'll find some off of some scrap. Regular sticks, not long, but we can't even chop that down without the axe. God, I want to go right through there, but the freaking wild dog. Let's just see if we can. Did I get bit by a scorpion? I did. Stepped on one. Hmm. Look at this area. Another man made, like, stone? Like, stacked stones or something right here? You see this? Obviously reminiscent of an old civilization. We we'll probably have to follow those to find the spyglass, I'm assuming. Oh god. It's guarding the trees. I can't jump off of this, I'll hurt myself. Oh god. I'm gonna go to the right instead. Maybe there isn't any over in this direction. those thinner trees on the left right there. Screw it. Let's just go to where we know they are. We just need a spear. We can kill those and get more. Hello, chickadee. So we already killed the guy up here, and it takes a while for them to spawn. When you check the map, you can hover over it and check their spawn timers. So that's cool. No axe. See, the thing is, I don't have a long stick to make an axe. Or we just need a stone for the axe, right? God damn it. We've really been uh, behind since throwing that axe into the head of the uh, the random snake that bit us. <laughs> really messed everything up. And I, I feel like I dropped some stones in... Did I drop them right here or in the cave? I dropped stones somewhere. Okay, cool. A bow would be nice. Okay. Axe reacquired. We take the axe, we get longer sticks, we make the spear. Or we just go bow. Four sticks and a rope? We could figure that out.
put all the wide leaves right there. They're weighing us down right now. We can craft some more rope real quick. Nice. That'll help us make a bow when we get three long sticks. We can just stop using the spear and we'll just start using the bow. There we go. Crafting. Weak bow. One more stick. Regular workbench? Shit. It's just like one thing leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to another, which we need to obviously start with the baseline stuff so I can make one more rope and then get four sticks. And then I can make the workbench, but geez, low please. It's going to be a lot of work. So we'll continue this next time, chat. Thank you for hanging out on YouTube. We're still going to be live on Twitch after this. Um, I'd like to play Frozen Flame. That's where we're scheduled. The YouTube stream will redirect you there. Um, but I don't know um, exactly what's going to happen there because it seems like the server we play on is down. If it comes back up, we'll play that. If not, like I said, twitch.tv slash partial roll is the place to be. Uh, we'll be playing this tomorrow as well. Dead Island 2 comes out on Friday, so we have a lot of games to play. It's going to be really fun, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Again, that's just for YouTube, by the way. I'm still here on Twitch. Don't go anywhere. Just waiting for myself to wave on the YouTube stream. Boop and bop. Then I'll redirect everybody to the other...